2,000 years ago, in China's Han Dynasty, when a ruler died, his corpse was carefully made ready for the afterlife. And Jane was essential for setting him on the sacred path to immortality. The ancient Chinese didn't have diamonds, but they did have Jane as a symbol of imperial authority and sacred power. And this Jane suit that will keep evil influences away from you that will allow your soul to exist, to be preserved. And then at the crucial moment, you can leave from your tomb, shed this exoskeleton we've provided for you, and through this body, transform yourself into an immortal. Yes. This seems like a very tall... Is that just Very of top. I mean, of course, you know, this person would have been wearing several layers of garments already. So you're not looking at the a naked body buried inside, actually a body fully dressed. So that's why. But interestingly, there was a jade coffin <coughs> made for a king. But this jade suit is made for a queen. So this is for a female. This is for a female. And this is for the first time a jade suit for the female has been displayed outside China. Mostly, you know, in some previous exhibitions, the male suit for the male, they don't actually distinguish a lot. They're mostly similar. Some of the male suit, of course, have the covering for the genitals. This, of course, for female, they're not needed. But that's a very important Chinese belief. Even when died, physically died, the vital energy, breath, or called qi, right? Like Qigong, the Qi, the vital breath is still inside. So you need to seal your body to protect the escape of this vital breath. If they escape, then you won't attain immortality. So all the parts of the body are plugged. In the mouth, it's symbolically, put something in the mouth and plug your ear, your nostrils, in even including anus. That's what got some sensation in online media, say this exhibition, well, have butt plug as well. <laughs> Other things. <laughs> yes, indeed, it was practice used. Whether you know people use that for during their life, in their intimate moments, I don't know. But for the buried body, for sure. And here, actually, you see a cicada. Jade, the cicada. This typically put in the mouth, because cicada has this, this strange creatures spend most of their life on the ground, but once. They're ready to come out. They dug up tunnel, come out the surface, and they shed their old shell, having new life transformation. So this is sort of for the symbolism for rebirth. So you're dead, physically dead, and then you attain immortality. You come out with a new life. So this is the jade. We don't actually have an actual jade and a plug in the shell, but the idea is clearly there. Dr. Shu, <laughs> yes. what happened to the body? Body decayed. I mean, but is it put somewhere? What's so in the archaeological it? institute, I the teeth and the toes and so forth. Uh -huh. They are not very sightly. So for the, for the exhibition in China or for here, you know, they are for scientific preservation, but they not. Was there for a public of the afterlife? was only temporary so that the body would be preserved up to a point where it would leave and go to the realm of the immortals? I mean, actually the idea is that to preserve the body eternally. I see. But, but, so the idea is that, uh, you know, you seal the tomb, you're never supposed to open it, mm -hmm. right? So the idea is that it will survive forever. Right. Yeah, so it's uh, the well-being of uh, the soul has a lot to do with the well-being of the body as well. That's why I try to plug every orifice mm -hmm. and to preserve the internal energy. That's the idea. Were the Han people disillusioned when they discovered that the body decayed? Um, First of all, you know, many of those tombs were plundered. So you will plunder them usually soon after the burial, so you won't see the decayed uh, body. I but I think even though, you know, uh, the people do find the body could decay, that did not lessen actually the, the urgency or the desire for the importance of jade. They will even try harder. <laughs> Thank you. So this is some of the jade pieces are just marvelous in craftsmanship. Look at the shape.
Thank you.